Well, that's all it does. This is a Samsung 55 inch. Probably gonna shoot this whole thing on my cell phone because it's too big to put on my workbench, but let me shut the lights off. If I can lock the focus. And obviously I cannot lock the focus. But as you can see, the backlight is trying to light. And I kind of see maybe a dark area down here in the corner. I don't know. But anyhow, that's, that's all it wants to do is blink that little LED there. Uh, let's go ahead and turn the flash on and we'll get to the back of the set. Show you the model number tag here. This is a UN55H6203AF. There it is right there. Uh, this is a donate. Customer bought a new set and he's like, if you want this, you can have it. So it's like, okay, I'll uh, certainly take a look at it. Doesn't have a lot of inputs and outputs, just a couple of HDMIs and either a component or a composite. Just one, you gotta choose one. That's all you get. Plus an antenna, probably has ATSC. I'm not even sure if this thing is a smart TV and it has Wi-Fi or whatnot. But let's go ahead and uh, pop the back on it and see if I might be able to figure out what is going on with this thing, if it'll stay in focus. One moment. All right, well, somehow I managed to drag this thing onto my workbench. It barely fits, had to move a bunch of stuff and a third of it's hanging off the bench. So I've got my little uh, LED lamp and bat backlight strip tester plugged in. Let's power this thing on. It's gonna go through this little boot up stage and it's basically going to output 300 volts. Right there, 300. And so if I short the leads together, it should go down to virtually zero and it does release them and it goes to 300. So uh, let's get Manuel Focus involved over here. Uh, let's try to move this over just a tad. Actually, I'll move the camera. And I wanna focus right there. So as you can see, it says M1 plus and minus, M2 plus and minus, M3 plus and minus, M4 plus and minus, and M5 plus and minus. These are all in series. So, if I get the polarity correct, and I go from M1 plus and minus, I see 300 volts. And M2 plus and minus, I get 300 volts. And then there's no connection to that pin, so this will be M3 plus and minus. That one's actually working, and let's see if I can hold this for a moment and possibly zoom out. That's lit, that little standoff. If I remove this, you can see it goes out. Reattach it and it lights up once again. So 28.8 volts there and then no connection there. I believe this is M4 plus and minus I only show 11 volts on that one, and I'm not seeing any light coming out of the uh, backlight through the standoffs, 13 volts, and then this will be M5, and I get 13 volts. This thing needs LED strips. That's all there is to it. And I'm betting once I get this thing uh, disassembled and new strips installed and get it powered back up, the backlight is going to be set at 100%. So hopefully you could actually see the numbers on there. I'll zoom in one more time. So this is M5. I don't know why they call it M5. So I've got 13, 14 volts on that one. This is M4. 13 volts. This will be M3, the one that does actually light up. And I'm getting 28 volts on that one. M2, 
300 and M1 300. Those aren't doing anything. What's interesting is I laid the set face down on my workbench and then I powered it on and I heard a pop and I saw just one little flash coming out of these holes. You can normally see the backlight through there. And there's a trick on the Samsungs. Let me go ahead and power that thing down so I don't get short circuited. If you unplug this connector on most of these Samsungs and power the set on, it'll turn on the backlight at 100% duty cycle or maximum output. And so I tried that trick and again, I heard a pop from the panel. But I can go ahead and plug that back in. Let's move the backlight tester out of the way and I will bring in one of my multimeters, specifically the 117, the one that does low impedance. So power is off. I'm gonna plug the set back into my Variac, isolated Variac for those who are concerned. I'm just gonna put the leads on there and power this on. As you can see, we got 73, 150, and then 280 volts, 285 volts. It's trying to light the backlight at this point. So that tells me, <coughs> excuse me, that tells me the power supply is good. And then uh, you really can't see it, but let me move the camera one moment. It's on a magnet up here. That's how I keep it. There we go. So that's telling me the backlight is good and then the main board is good. It's doing what it is supposed to do. And that is max zoomed out right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can find some LED strips for this guy. I'll move this over here once again, get it attached. And so, oh, wireless mic is in the way. There we go. So there is the number. So hopefully, I can use that number to go to a couple various websites, Shop Jimmy being one of the best ones, and see if they have backlight strips available. And if not, I'll have to resort to, you know, the Jungle website or the Flea Bay, anything like that, and try to find replacement LED strips for this guy. So that might end it here. If I can't find them, I'm just gonna part this thing out. If I find them, I will go ahead and make an attempt to replace the backlight strips on this set. Uh, once again, it is a model. U is in Union, N is in Nancy, 55, H is in Henry, 6203, A Adam, F Frank. And typically on these, you'll find extra digits. Uh, this one is a X, X-ray, Z, Zebra, A Adam suffix. Version number U Union S Sam 01 US 01. So, if I can find some strips, there will be a part two to this, or maybe I'll just keep this as one complete video. Anyhow, that's what was going on. I suspected it when I saw the flash that it had a dim area, defective LEDs. Once again, I'll bet if I find the strips and I get this thing going, the backlight is at 100%. If you want to save your TVs, turn the backlight down. They run the LEDs basically at 100% and they're not going to last in the long run. Take it down to 50% or less if you're comfortable with that. I have um, a TCL TV and I have them set at 50%, but I did increase the contrast and the brightness to make up for it. It doesn't change the backlight level. It just manipulates how the LCD panel turns on and off. That's it. Everybody, thank you for making it to the end of this shortish little video. I really appreciate it. Everyone have a great day. Thanks for watching once again. Bye-bye.